question. So keep me from droning on for 20 minutes. I've made notes. Keep me on uh, on task here. So, hey, first of all, uh, thank you all for being here. This is a, a really wonderful day, a really wonderful uh, Leadership Pensacola class. This is about to unveil their project. It's very exciting. Uh, I wanted to uh, tell you a little bit about LEAP. Leadership uh, Pensacola is one of the marquee uh, programs of the Chamber of Commerce, uh, the Greater Pensacola Chamber Enterprise, founded uh, by the Pensacola Chamber Foundation in 1892, uh, and it's since grown to become part of Pensacola and something that's looked forward to every single year. About 1,500 people have been through the LEAP program, uh, and the purpose of LEAP is to continually renew Pensacola's pool of leaders, to acclimate up and coming leaders to the infrastructure, history, diverse communities, industries, and people who are fundamental parts of life here in Pensacola. Also to charge individuals with brainstorming and facilitating a project with sustainable impact on the region. And to familiarize individuals with the process of fundraising, communicating, licensing, completing and handing off lar a large community project. Past LEAP projects include the LEAP This Way uh, project, the downtown wayfinding system, wayfinding system, the LEAP Trail, I know a lot of you are familiar with, the fitness course that's around the airport, and uh, LEAP Play, which renovated this, the uh, Children's Hospital Playroom at Sacred Heart Hospital. This class project, of course, is no different uh, with the viability of its impact and the long-term change it will affect for Pensacola's homeless. I'm proud of the work of this LEAP class and the work they put into the project. Uh, I feel honored to lead the organization responsible for bringing these talented individuals together to work as a team. Again, I want to thank the class. You've worked very hard. It's a great project. It's going to have a big impact on Pensacola for a long time. Thank all of you for being here on this, this uh, uh, wonderful, super uh, beautiful day here in Pensacola. God bless you all. Thank you for having me. And I'll hand the back to Josh. Thank you. Um, Florida is ranked third in the nation for the highest number of homeless population. And in our community, a lot of that is comprised of women and families and children. In a study that Escarosa Coalition for the Homeless did in 2015, they found that we have almost a thousand chronically homeless living in our Santa Rosa and our Escambia County communities. And besides those chronically homeless, we have thousands of more that are families, that are veterans, and that are also unaccompanied youth. Panhandlers in our community, whether they're homeless or not, are costing our community thousands of dollars annually. That's made up of medical expenses and also the, the law enforcement expense as well. So we realized that it's our job to better educate our community on the true faces of homelessness so that we can buy, provide a better coordination of care, so that we can ensure a successful community at offering individuals and children the help they need for real change. Our objective in the short time that we were members of this 2016 LEAP class was to create something that could live well beyond us. We realized early on that the health and well-being of our community was very closely tied to our response to homelessness. Based on similar successful projects that happened in Pasadena and in Denver and close by in Mobile, Alabama, we decided to implement a better way to give. Our goal was to create a better, a better educated, um, more educated and um, givers in our community. Our goal was to improve the lives of homelessness, of those that are homeless in the Pensacola and surrounding areas, and educate people about the true face of homelessness by creating a dedicated funding source that addresses the systematic and root cause of their problem. By sponsoring a meter and by giving to meters, you're ensuring that Pensacola is a better place, that those in our community have a shot to create a successful life for them and for their families. These meters, all 40 of these beautifully painted meters, are a visual symbol of the faces of our homeless and our, and our organization, as well as an alternative giving platform. They will fund new and also existing programs that offer sustainable solutions. By giving change, we can make change in our community. A long-lasting, continuous impact that in partnership with Escarosa Coalition on the Homeless can prevent and eliminate homelessness in our area. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mayor. Good afternoon. How does your city feel? No humidity, sunshine, Clay Ingram, you're the man. Where are you? You ordered this up. Uh, well, it's really an honor to be here, and most importantly, I feel very grateful to be here with all of you because. You know, sometimes as the mayor, you get to sit there in silence for about 30 seconds. You're not speaking, but each and every one of you is what makes Pensacola great. Your passion, your energy, your purpose, 
Over 1,500 people have come through LEAP. And you're not just natural born leaders. You learn to lead by other people that lead by example, helping the poor, helping the homeless, helping those people that can't help themselves. And I see many people here that have gone through the class. I see many people from the respected hospitals here today, the universities. It's very, very important to always show up and give back after you've experienced something. And today's another important, this topic is so important. A few years ago, we brought in Robert Marba to talk about the homelessness issue in Pensacola of Florida and no city is isolated from homelessness no matter if you're in Antwerp Belgium Los Angeles California or Pensacola Florida and you're sitting at that light going home one night after a rough night or a great night and you see someone out there that's struggling this project is going to help those people and we're going to do it in a smart way we're going to support those folks that are having a challenging need right now and for me as your mayor to be able to go out and you know publicize this in, in a, a positive way and talk about it that's how we make change and when you give back, you change the world. I'm so happy to see the children that are here today. We've talked about it numerous times, Andrew, on 1620 and homelessness issues and, and how it impacts a community. We have to manage the issue and we have to help these, pitch, issue, uh, these folks. And by doing this, I want to thank the volunteers, the artists, the, um, the sponsors for doing this, and most importantly, the class for taking on a challenge like this. Sometimes it's not a, a popular subject to talk about homelessness, but it is something in our community and we have to own that issue and today we're going to do it right here with each other so again thank you for being here and I look forward to working with each and every one of you thank you all right all right everyone we're going to cut the ribbon here for a better way to give in three two one And for our final item of the day, um, we would like to present the Escarosa Coalition on the Homeless with the funds uh, we have raised, I believe almost $60,000 cash and almost $100,000 in total value.